going to talk about measuring for new vinyl skirting for a mobile home, whether we're doing part of the house or the whole house. The first thing we want to do is we want to measure the perimeter of the home. You're typically going to have two short walls, two long walls. Measure the entire perimeter of the house. If the homeowner tells you the home's a 14 by 70 or a 14 by 72, measure it anyway because some manufacturers include four foot for the hitch. The hitch obviously is usually not in the house anymore, so take the actual measurements. Once you've measured your perimeter, you now know how many running feet you have. The next measurement we need is a height measurement. And what we want to do is we want to measure from the ground right to the top of the existing skirting. And we want to take that height measurement in six places. We want to take it in all four corners, and we want to take it in the center of the two long walls. So we get six height measurements. The reason we do that is because not all sites are even. You may find that the home's 24 inches off the ground in the front and 36 inches off the ground in the rear. So we're going to take six height measurements and take them by the inch. You're going to add them all up and then divide by six. That measurement will give us what the average height per panel is. And based on the perimeter measurement and the height measurement, we can calculate right to the panel exactly how much material is needed for your project. If you're not doing the entire house, you're only doing a portion of it, let's say you're just doing one of the longer walls. Measure it at the, two, at the starting point and the ending point, and one measurement in the middle. Add the three together. Divide by those three measurements, and that will give you the average height of the section that you're replacing. Give us that along with the total length, and we'll be able to again formulate exactly how much material you need for that project. Okay. Do you need any information about the top and bottom? Well, as far as the top and bottom goes, you know, if you're replacing just the panels and the top trim and bottom trim are in good shape, then no. However, if your ground channel is in, is in poor shape and or your top trim is broken, uh, let us know how many linear feet you need of each. Okay. The top trim, too, is comprised of two different pieces. I'm going to pull this apart. It's comprised of a backer plate and a front trim or fascia plate. The backer plate is what nails to the house. Your skirting goes on. And then this piece covers the top of the skirting where you have your cut edges. So let us know, you know, when you give us how many linear feet of trim you need, let us know how many are front piece and how many are the backer piece. Okay, thank you.